picked up from this area. You just arrived. Oh, I did it myself just two days ago. Let me finish this. My name is Mesmeria Draco. You can call me Mesiba. I said something different about you. Yes. Now, darling, before we begin, are you feeling okay? You honestly, in your outfit, look like you've just gotten mugged. Okay. Yes, perfect. Oh, you do have that. Oh, okay. I wasn't gonna ask, but okay. Now, what brings you to the smelter? You're traveling to? Okay. Where are you traveling to? Oh, the monarchy. Through the desert. The long way. Okay, darling, I'm not going to pretend like I understand why under any circumstances she would want to attempt such a dangerous feat, but we all have our reasons reason for traveling is here. Yes, I, as you can see, am a peddler of rare and exotic and magical goods. I came to this town because it's wonderfully quiet and generally very calm. Hmm. Sometimes I feel like I could stay here forever, but then I wouldn't be able to get my wares. Anyway, can I interest you in something? Are you looking for something for drunk time? You are? Wonderful. You want anything specific you are looking for? No. Very well. Oh, my pen. Yes. It bears the crest of a family. The fire region. Yes, it does. See, the ink is all kept up here. And you twist it to bring the ink down. Quite remarkable. Next time I go, I'm definitely going to pick up a hundred or so of them. Sell them to all the merchants across the land, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, going through the desert. Through the desert. Mm -hmm. well, this is probably the first thing I would recommend. Yes. It, it is just a simple pin. But it is very special. See, this scarab is from this area, obviously. Is to help prevent heat stroke. Yes. It is to keep your body temperature down and will help protect you in the elements of heat. Okay, make sure you unpin it from yourself and you remove it from yourself at night. Because when it gets really chilly at night, it could have a Very helpful. You plan on traversing through the desert. Yes, very okay. I will set that aside for you. All right. Oh, the crown. No, this is not the crown of the tyrant king. No, it's just like the one next to it. Just for decorative purposes. This is one of the few non-magical items I actually possess. You think I would just sell the crown of the Tyrant King? I mean, yes, you could probably get like 10,000 krell for it, like grand krell, but I mean like, you know, technically selling it would set you up for life, but would you have a life if you just sold the crown to some random person? Are you kidding me? No, no, darling. <laughs> These are just normal crowns. I have them for like parties and stuff, okay? Because sometimes a woman wants to look nice. See? I'm gonna say that's all. Okay. okay. I'm gonna set that off to the side and size some room. The next thing on our list is this bracelet. See? It's made for someone with slightly larger wrists than I, 
but it helps defend against sword fighting and theoretically axe fighting too. Um, when you're in close combat ranges and they swing this way, there's a chance that their hand will move and the sword will just hit right here. Okay? Actually, it's a pretty high chance. Um, be careful about this though, because like other people know you love magic. People are afraid of magic sometimes. I don't know. But yeah, very good have. It goes for about 300 grand crown. So a lot of your price range, and that's fine. Understandable. Next thing we have might be useful. It is a crystal. When you focus on it, when you focus on it, it lights up, but, um, you have to really be focusing on it for it to work. The positives of this crystal, though, is most cave creatures can't see in blue light. Like, most forest creatures and pests and bugs and that can't see in red light. Um... Cave creatures can't see blue light, so it can be really helpful to be like, see, see, yeah, it can be really, really helpful to have something like this. Oh, you don't think you'll be going to the caves soon? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're going to the desert, I can completely understand. Pardon me. Let me show you some of my necklaces. This one is glass that has been enchanted to duplicate itself and when you pull it it becomes longer and longer and longer okay and it can make about a five six feet loop uh in diameter when stretched um this can be good for multiple things one wrapping someone up it's very strong but if you need to like get above a gap like climb up a wall or something that's about 10 feet long and you can hook it on something on the top then it, you know you only have to reach the five feet put your you know work your way up it and it'll be a little bit easier i don't know i think having this could have some other uses you always set aside for you okay. okay i'll throw that and that into a basket okay well done the next thing i have is this little okay shape of heart. Now this candle when burnt kind of has the it's in the same family of effects as like a love potion but not as strong. This one is to help with negotiations. It makes the other person more receptive. For example if your partner or a business associate was very strong willed this might be good to light and um just loosen them up to new ideas and ways of thinking. No use? Okay. Perfectly understood. This. This is just a little gingerbread cookie that a child gave to me today because I had a, I have a couple non-magical artifacts I always carry around and she wanted one of the non-magical bracelets I had. And so I took this because she was sweet and yeah, why not? My next item is this box. And inside it are eight little trees. Now each of these trees can be taken out separately. They're from the frozen tundras. Yes. These have magical properties of the first snow after the winter solstice, which as you know has tons of magical properties. Yes, the solstice does this have magic. Okay. After every winter solstice, areas that are cold have more magical properties. During the summer solstice, if it's hot, they have more magical properties. Areas that are more mid-range, the autumn and the spring, okay, yeah, you get that. This 
there's a uh, little enchanted trees and when put into like a liquid the liquid will stay cold until it's taken out and then um it can be moved to another liquid it never gets warm the only caveat is um always got it i wrote it down underneath that oh yeah it gives everything a weird sap flavor <laughs> yeah see i'm honest at least i'm honest okay um not a magical item i have is just this little jug um it can be used for pots i intend to eventually imbue this with some magic i don't know if you can see it but there's a lizard on it in the forest realm one day, I bet if I take it back, I can imbue it with something very interesting. But if you have to have a mundane pot, I have that. Um, if you're looking for containers that won't just break, I have some metal pots. I have this one. It's more pretty. And I have this one, which is more industrial. No need? No. Just showing you what I got. Um, non-magical. I'm trying to get through the non-magical first, so we can get through the, um, to the more interesting stuff a little bit later. Non-magical. This is just a very pretty necklace that was carved by some half house for me. Mm. Well, you know, let's just do the necklaces. Okay. Um, another necklace. Another necklace. This is a necklace of foresight. Yes. When worn, it will grant the user the ability to make one wise choice a day. But you gotta be careful about it because it literally could be like, what shall I get for breakfast? You wanna eat some eggs or you wanna eat a piece of fruit? Well, this is going to tell you, like, you're going to get this really strong impression to eat the fruit. But, um, that's not, I don't know. Try to make your first decision of the day important with this. You know what? That's absolutely fine. Next thing I have is a skeleton key on a chain. You know, I'm just saying that's kind of impressive. Skeleton keys can open up most non-magical locks without any problem. Oops. Unless it has, like, some super complicated lock. But if it has, like, a normal looking key, you can pretty much open up that. Um, okay. These are kind of interesting. These are, I don't really think they have much use to you. These are scrolls of healing, um, but they can only be used by people who know how to perform the ritual. These just help with replacing some of the components that are a little bit harder to get, and uh, they have, I have two of them. You want, oh, can you perform magic? You think you can? Have you ever? Okay. Are you sure? Okay. Uh, sounds like a plan. Okay, so, I'll just got a score. I'll that you still need and... Good luck with that. Okay. Um... Hmm. We have this bracelet. Um, I'll be honest, I, I know it had something to do with nature. It's a nature blessing. I don't remember. Yeah, it's Bryce, so it's got magic. I'll have to look into my records back at the caravan. Yeah. Isn't it pretty, though? I like it. I'm not going to wear it in case, you know, it's cursed. Dab is cursed, but just in case. Um, oh, this You see how it's got ridges down the middle? Yes. You fill this up with poison. And then you put it in. It applies the poison to the sword. That way, when you attack, they get poisoned. There's no poison in it currently, though, because I have a firm belief. Never sell anything you cannot combat. So, even the weapon that I sell... 
I can take him. Oh. Oops. There's this guy. This beautiful rose bracelet. It's actually very powerful. Yeah, you have no intuit magic abilities though, so you wouldn't know that. Each one of these, when popped up and thrown, becomes basically a giant ball of fire that you can throw and control and it's humongous explosion. Mm -hmm. uh, problem though, anyone that has any sort of magical intuity of any class can sense this without even having to cast sense magic. Having to even, you know, intuitively look at it. No, you walk into a room with this thing, everyone looks at you and like, what do you have? Because I sense something powerful. Well, it's not that powerful. But, yeah. Definitely helps with getting magic users to come my way though. So, it could be useful. You don't want it? <laughs> yeah. It's quite a bit of power. Um... I have a bunch of little bottles, little glass bottles for potions and ingredients and stuff. These. And these are very interesting. It is a full set. A full set. I don't have an instruction sheet with me, darling. I roughly know how to use them, but I was hoping before I sold them to someone to be able to figure out how to properly use these guys. But I have not found anyone capable quite yet of teaching me. Yes. The magic user, the stuff used to bong to you, passed away long, long before I received such an interesting journey. Now, darling, on to my bigger stuff. This. Looks perfectly empty, right? No liquid inside. But in reality, it's very enchanting. What do you smell? Yes. Ale. When held to your lips, it will fill your mouth with ale. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate that because that's gross, and you're not going to try it because it's gross. But just trust me on this. When held to your lips, it will fill your mouth with ale. Now, if you're going to the desert and you don't have any backup plans for water, which you should have backup plans for water, this is a last resort. Because with the amount of water you'll want to drink, you're going to get so drunk in the desert. So, be careful with this if you get it. And you want it. Okay, I'll set it aside for you. No, no, that's fine. It's up to you. Okay, I'll just go through the rest of my... My next item is a statue of blessing. This needs to be placed in a home or somewhere is stationary. And what it does is it gives the blessings to those who inhabit that home. Okay? So a family, servants, whoever. But the home kind of needs to be small. It only has so much of a radius where it will spread. But it also needs to be stationary for a very long time for it to really start to get effect. And it's the people that spend the most time near it that will notice the benefits. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't be a cup of tea, but I'm just showing everything. Hmm, we'll save that one for last. We'll go with another one of these guys. And this guy. He is a mask of good harvest. When placed in the home, he will bring farmers or gardeners a bountiful harvest, and they have a less chance for fit. You're gonna be very useful. I just got this actually. It's funny. It's not really from this area. It's further south. But it's 
changed. Okay. Darling, next time I'm going to do open weapons. And this blade is enchanted with a forever sharp. And not need, you know, constant sharpening and so if you're you're expecting to get a lot of combat, we we'll about this. No? Okay. Well that's comforting at least. I guess this isn't a weapon, but it stays in that area. This is the tail of a mature dragon of between, not really a wyvern, a little bit bigger, not the name, but it is a tail of a black one, and it um, can be used on a lot of potions, a lot of spells, a lot of rituals, it, it's powerful, yeah, okay, next on my inventory are throwing it, you have to be very careful with these, very careful with these, but they have to be kept in a belt, and you take them out and you throw them, okay, and they will come back to the belt, but the person that threw them, as long as they don't hit wood, like a tree, or a tap, well, table, chair, you get the picture, if it hits something that I made of wood, it will not come back to you, anything else, grass, ground, humans, animals, whatever you're fighting, as long as you throw it and it makes contact, it will come back to you. So, yeah. I have three of them because I feel like people get drunk and they will hit something good and then they'll come out and they lost their weapon. So I'm selling them in a set of three. No interest? Okay. The last thing before the cursed item. Uh, this axe. This is incredibly light. Like, Feel it. Feel it. Yeah. See? It's so light. But it has the string, same string and uh, damage of a normal axe. It's just built for someone. Like, this is good for, like, a child or someone who has got good strength. Um, it is still incredibly strong and incredibly sharp and can cause just as much damage. But it is so No, you're not in need for weapons. Okay, that was great. Now this item. Um, I would not recommend this unless you really think you will need it, like life or death. Okay, this is a mask. Uh, you tie a piece of uh, long braided hair. Yes, it needs hair to work. You know, whenever someone says something like it needs hair to work, uh, we shouldn't use it. It's an interesting story how I came into this item. Goblins. I don't think I need to explain much more. Goblins. So, you, you wear it on your face. Well, you take hair, like a lot of hair, and you braid it all together and use it on the holes. And then you put it on your face, but I'm not, because I'm not crazy. And it will make you look like someone that doesn't exist. Okay? It's just a mask of disguise. But it'll make you look like, it'll make you sound like, it'll make you, like, look like someone that just doesn't exist. Um, and you get to choose the race. Basically anyone, um, around the correct size. I mean, you could try to be an elf, yeah, no one would believe you, but humans, dwarves, whatever. Okay? Put it on. You wear it, you're someone else, okay? There's so much better magic than do that. Because here's the caveat to this piece, okay? You put it on your face, right? Ten minutes later, you start to bleed. Somewhere where the mask was touching. Like a little dot. And it's just doing a flow of blood. Like you've been pricked with a needle and then pricked with a prick during the prick. And it hurts. Trust me. It hurts. Okay, this is so uncomfortable. Okay, so they don't know who you are for ten minutes, right? Pricks. Bleed, bleed, hurt, hurt. Ten minutes later, somewhere else. Bleed, bleed, prick, prick, hurt, hurt. Okay? Here's the caveat. Your face is now bleeding. Just out of nowhere, you have started to gain pricks. So what is anybody's reaction? They're going to come and touch this. Now to them, this is invisible. It's not invisible to the touch. So they'll touch it. They'll see that you, their finger is floating above where the blood should be. And they can't touch you. And then your cover is blown. And this is a terrible item. And why, why do I sell it? Because someone's going to want it. And I'm going to 
Yeah. It's a long story. Goblins. Don't trust them. But I literally got this for two frogs, so why not get a cursed item for that cheap? Yeah. Oh, honey. It's not cheap, darling. Trust me, I've done plenty of research on it. No, it's cheap. Okay, so that is roughly everything I have. Let's go over what I've set aside for you. My little basket. You wanted the seemingly empty bottle, the scarab brooch, the bead rope. Oh, quick note about this. It, once you elongate it, it will stay elongated for like two hours, which is why I don't elongate it now because then I just have this big bead thing lying around. So two hours, okay? And then you wanted the scroll of healing you can't use. That you think you can use. Okay. Okay. That'll be 15 uh, grand card on. you got mugged and you're not worried about money to the point you just didn't hackle okay charge more then oh well what are you looking for um ward against a vampire doesn't that just look in the soup well die Mm. I don't have anything for sale that would ward you against vampires. Okay, that's that's interesting. No, I, I don't. But I will show you my necklace. You see this one? Yes, it is a ward of advanced protection. Actually, it's a bit stronger than even that. This is a custom ward of protection with an extra protection stone with these that help make it stronger, okay? If you ever see something like this, darling, get it. I don't care what it takes, get it, okay? Except for mine. Touch mine, you're dead, okay? Um, what this does is it protects you against all dangers, all of them, okay? Um, um, I got it. Okay, there's this flower that grows in the forest room. Okay, it's like red, it's a yellow. I don't, you know the little things in a flower? You do, okay. The little yellow things in the flower, they're yellow. And then you got red petals, and then there's red berries on the flower, okay? And you want all of it, just a big chunk of it. And then it's effective against them. Like, they just, they... How do I explain this? Your blood tastes rotten if they ingest it and the flowers are touching you while they're ingesting it. Problem, problem, is as soon as they go bad, then they lose their magic power. Okay? So you gotta be careful about that. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I was in thought. I'm thinking, if I head that way, I can go make some, and then enchant them with the same enchantment on these trees to make them never die. I could do it. Oh, yeah, I did. I did actually enchant these trees. Yes, I am a magic user. Do you think a normal peddler could carry this kind of stuff now you're robbed every three seconds? No, darling. I am very capable of my job there. Okay. Um, there's your goods. I hope that you have a wonderfully blessed day. I will 
always be right here when you come and visit the city. And if I'm not here, then don't worry about it. I think I'll be here for you, darling. And I have a feeling my paths will cross again. Alright, I wish you the safest of journeys. And I hope the outcome is something that you hope for. Vampires, huh? That ain't a good sign. Oh boy. That ain't a good sign at all. Maybe the rumors are true. And he mentioned the crown. Nope. Not good. Not good at all. Time to up the protection around here.